very easy for men. Um, there's uh, the, there's three core aspects and really four if you think about it. There's uh, make muscles, make money, and learn game. And in terms of game, I mean like social skills uh, that a lot of guys, by the way, are very lacking these days. And then as the fourth uh, part of that is is uh, hold frame. Like so, once you have built that world, you know, with uh, make money, make muscles, learn game, then you have frame as a part of that. And again, this is a psychological, sociological term. Like what's the frame right now? Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with just you know interpersonal relationships. It can be your boss. It can be your 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 mom or your dad and your family. They're like frame is like whoever's frame, psychological frame you're entering into, or they're into, entering into your so when when we're looking at uh, guys sort of coming back from from being like okay I'm deficient in these areas mm -hmm. most men when they when they find what works for them they gross out in one of those areas so I, I don't make a lot of money I'm kind of poor but man I can go bench for you know 400 pounds sure. right? I'm, I'm in the 300 club right I can whatever it is I can I can maximize my looks and everything at the cost of my deficiency in say money or even in game we see a lot of this in the black pill communities right now where they think it's nothing but looks it's a, you know to the point where they're you're doing jaws your size so they can get a better you know jawline or doing you know cosmetic surgery as a result of this really kind of obsessive uh, misunderstanding that it's all about it's only about looks okay so what you would think that these guys would be like you know uh, gym bros or they would be like personal trainers or something but that's one area that is, if, if you're deficient in one of those areas, you tend to gross out another. So what I would suggest is look at which areas you tend to be really strong at, and then look at where you, you tend to be weak at. Most guys, if they're weak in money, they, they, they tend to gross out on looks. If they're, if they're fat and they don't look very good, or they're not naturally good looking, they tend to gross out in money and say, well, it's all about the money and all I have to do is just pay for everything and, and girls will want to come to me. And then it's like, there, there's the game aspect of it. Well, I don't have either of those, but I'm very charming and so Therefore, I can, uh, you know, I, I know people's psychology, and you tend to gross out in that area as well. My suggestion to guys is, if you want to have a, if you really want to build yourself up, look where you're weak in those three core three things, because the fourth is to have frame as a result of all of those three things. So, if you are not in good shape, which what is it, 75 percent of the United States population is like overweight, and like 40 percent is like morbidly obese, that's usually the best place to start. Get your fat ass in the gym. That will help you out with with your uh, just not necessarily the just the look side of things, but it'll help you feel better mm -hmm. because you're you know releasing stress and there's, there's a chemical a biochemical aspect that goes along with that. If you're deficient in money, people will say, well, how do I get on my game with money? Uh, crypto. How do I do? How do I become an entrepreneur? How do I um, be, learn a trade? How do I like? I'm, I'm better at these things. Find out what your core strengths are. Um, primarily, if I'm when I'm telling guys like they they ask me this question. Uh, first and foremost, I say, what is sedating you? Is it pornography? Is it booze? Is it uh, prescription drugs? Is it your, uh, I mean, your addiction to World of Warcraft? Whatever it is, whatever that yeah. is, sort of your escape. Video games. It's a life that is. It's better to live in your escape than it is in your shitty real life. That's. I think that's the first and foremost is find out what's sedating you because you can't address any of those core three until you decide until you figure out what's keeping you in bed all day long and you're not you don't want do you to think do this anything. metaverse concept is going to help that's that or gonna, hurt that's going it's fun we were just talking about this um yeah i think it's gonna i think it's gonna hurt because it's gonna be more like um, i think a more immersive experience right uh, if you're than, not happy with your life just well, go check into the I mean, metaverse good well, luck out well, there remember but. when world of warcraft and those uh online role-playing games came out and everybody was you know neglecting their children because they were too busy you know trying to level up um, if that's human nature, imagine what it's going to be like when we get into the metaverse. We're already talking about like you know women are, are, are filing suit against Meta for like being you know sexually assaulted. Gross. Yeah, in yeah. in the metaverse right now, and you're already seeing like real world problems sort of being transferred over into into the, the metaverse. Like we're already it's a natural shift over. But I, yeah, I think that, that that will be an escape. That will be a sedation to keep you locked in place, to keep you in neutral.